What is going on all you Pokemon collecting maniacs out there? This is Ryan, the Pika Pika Papa, and as you can see, today we're talking Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes, and I have made no secret about this. These are some of my absolute favorite long-term holds, right? When I'm talking 10, 15, 20 years down the road, I have a very, very strong outlook on these. And what I've realized is, even though I've told you that a lot, I haven't spent a lot of the time on the why, right? I'm a big believer. You spend 20% on the what, 80% on the why. So I've nailed the 20% on the what, but in this video, I'm gonna spend this whole time telling you why I think they're such a great long-term buy and hold. Now, there's all kinds of thoughts and opinions on these out there, and some of the things that I hear as well, they're a pain in the butt to store, and you're absolutely right. These are bigger than regular booster boxes, and when you get your bang for your buck from an overall cubic inch perspective, we actually did this video a while ago. We looked at high gainer elite trainer boxes versus high gainer booster boxes, and from a cubic inch perspective, right, the booster boxes beat the elite trainer boxes hands down. The other thing that I hear a lot of the time is like, hey, these aren't very liquid. These aren't moving very quickly. Like, my very first question would be, why are you trying to sell Pokemon Center exclusive elite trainer boxes that are shown on this slide right now anyways? Like, these are still brand new. You should wait and hold on to them for a longer time horizon versus trying to sell them right now. And I do think that in the future, you know, when it comes to liquidity, I think there's going to be all kinds of new apps and platforms and just think of all of the stuff that we've gained over the last five years. You know, I think there's going to be other opportunities. And again, I'm hoping that the Pokemon interest continues to grow and that the hobby continues to grow and there will be more open arms waiting to collect things like this. So I hope that the liquidity in the future isn't a huge concern. Now, I will say this, I am putting my money where my mouth is. I buy a ton of these. So every single one of these on this slide right here, I have two cases of, with the exception of the Obsidian Flames, I have three cases of that. The Paldea Evolved, I have three cases of that. And I got incredibly lucky with Pokemon 151, I actually have four cases of that. So this is not just me telling you the why, this is me also letting you know that I have a lot of money invested in these. So again, I'm right there with you when I'm talking about this. Now the point of this video isn't to convince you to buy these, it's not to you know dissuade you from buying them, Either. This is just to inform you as to why I'm such a big, big believer in them. At the end of the day, you got to make your own decisions. And I do understand that I'm fortunate where storage isn't a big issue for me, but storage is a main, main factor when it comes to this. They also cost a couple extra bucks when you want to ship them because they're big, they're bulky. It is a pain in the butt. So all of that are real things that we have to consider as we're going through this video. Now, before I get into the why, before I start diving deep into why I think these are going to be great super long-term buy and holds, listen, if you enjoy this type of content, if you enjoy this type of explaining the why more than the what, hit that subscribe button. We do fun stuff like this all the time. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. And if you have questions or comments, drop them down below. Those three small things go a long way in helping my small channel out. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. So with that being said, one of the things that I love most about these is there is such a short window to buy these at MSRP, okay? We have seen in the past that these come up for pre-sale and then they really don't last very long after a new set comes out. So what I have on here is you all know that I warehouse data for booster box prices for all of the sets in Sword and Shield and all of the sets in Sun and Moon. And these are booster box prices for the Sword and Shield sets uh, really from 2022 in January all the way till last month, right? Like I keep this and I always update it every single month. And you can see that even these awesome Sword and Shield booster boxes, like you have a long opportunity to buy these at or below MSRP. Even some of the more recent ones like Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, and Brilliant Stars, now their, now their uh, market price is much higher than that. But even as recent as last month, you could have bought these at MSRP. That does not exist for these Pokemon Center exclusively trainer boxes, right? Like you get a very short window to buy them at MSRP. So when I'm trying to allocate my Poke funds, I understand that if I want to get Pokemon on center exclusive elite trainer boxes into my collection, I have to act now because at least this far, and that could fundamentally change in the future, but at least so far, the window to purchase them at MSRP is incredibly small versus, of course, I'm going to have booster boxes. Booster boxes are going to be a big part of my long-term collection too, but I know that I have a ton of time. I have years, if you look at some of these, you have years to buy booster boxes at or below MSRP. I mean, even some of the biggest sets that you see up here, the biggest in the baddest sets. You got Lost Origin, you got Brilliant Stars, you got Silver Tempest, heck, even Fusion Strike. Look, back in January of 2022, all the way through, what was it? Uh, all the way, the whole year of 2022, look at the booster box prices for Fusion Strike. It was $115, and really for most of the year, it was a sub $100 box. So, 
The window of opportunity to buy these at MSRP is incredibly short, and that is why I pounce on them as soon as they come out. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is this is a truly exclusive product. We have seen booster boxes available at MSRP on websites such as Target and Walmart, and these aren't just third-party sellers. Like, Target is actually selling the official booster boxes on their website. You can't buy them in the stores, but you can buy it on the website. Well, guess what? You can't find Pokemon Center exclusive uh, Lee Trainer boxes at Target or Walmart or GameStop or your local car shop. You don't have to worry about these sitting on a shelf somewhere for months and months and months and then they go ahead and discount it and you have to worry, well, I paid MSRP for it, but now if I would have waited three or four months, right, the demand's not there, so the supply, they want to push through it, so they start discounting it. Like, you don't have to worry about that. The other thing is these are only available on the Pokemon Center website and as somebody who lives in the U.S., I forget sometimes how fortunate I am to have access to that because a lot of the world doesn't. The Pokemon Center, these are only available on the Pokemon Center websites that support the U.S., Canada and the UK. There are a lot of people all over the world who love Pokemon like you and I and who are collecting the heck out of Pokemon and sealed product. And guess what? They don't have access to the Pokemon Center website. So if they want to do this, they're going to have to buy this from a third party seller. These are truly exclusive products and there just aren't many of those out there, right? Even some of the big ones, like even the Pokemon TCG Classic, the big black box that came out, you can find that discounted. Uh, it's way cheaper than MSRP right now. Even ultra premium boxes, like you just don't see this type of exclusivity that often and that is another reason why I think these are really really great buy and hold products in the future if anybody in any other parts of the world want to collect these products guess what they have to get from people who have bought them directly from the Pokemon Center website and that's one of the reasons I am absolutely in love with these products the next thing is supply and demand and again I've talked about true exclusivity here for a little while but at the time of me shooting this video, if you go on the Pokemon Center website, you can buy Fusion Strike Elite Tr Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes. You can buy Lost Origin and Brilliant Stars Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes. And I think every single one of us watching this would agree that those are three of the most epic sets in the entire Sword and Shield block, yet guess what? They are still readily available on the Pokemon Center website. Well, guess what? That means that there is a huge supply of those because we know that the demand for those sets is incredibly high right now, especially with the booster boxes being sold out, people are going to start looking to these. But even with all of that, even with these being well over two years old, guess what? You can still buy them at MSRP on the Pokemon Center website. From Crown Zenith forward, you can't find them. Like, they don't exist, at least as of now, as I just said a minute ago, right? At least for now, they go on, they pre-order, the set drops, there's some more available, and they sell out. We have seen a couple that come back on. We saw a, a brief little restock of Obsidian Flames. We've seen a couple 151 drops here and there. There was even a Scarlet and Violet, I think it was the Mariah box that came out and was restocked for a little bit. But at the end of the day, most of them just sell out and they don't come back. Now that could fundamentally change in the future if we see some restocks of some of these Scarlet and Violet booster boxes. Maybe we're going to see these Elite Trainer boxes come back with them. But one of the things that I think is really cool about these is when you look at these old Elite Trainer boxes versus the new ones, these new ones really from the Scarlet and Violet era forward, they have that stamped promo card in there. So you get two promos. You get the regular promo that you get in the normal Elite Trainer box, but you also get the stamped promo that comes exclusively in these Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes. That to me is more important than the additional packs, right? That to me is one of the things that helps keep these exclusive and might, it could possibly help keep from these massive restocks further down the road. And then the next thing that I talk about right here, I just alluded to it, are these stamped promos. And when I started looking at the PSA population report for these stamped promos, I literally almost fell out of my chair. It was amazing to look at these. I have shared with you that I order a couple cases of each of these to hold and keep sealed, but then I also order two loose boxes, right? I've got two daughters, and we sit down, and every single one that comes out, we open two Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes. I immediately take the stamped promo cards that come from those boxes, and I send them off to PSA. I think in the long run, having a collection of every single Pokemon Center exclusive stamped promo card that comes from these would just be really cool for the personal collection, even if it's not worth a lot from an investment standpoint. So we do that, I send them in, and I get them back, and I think it's really cool. But look at the po populations for these Snorlax, Charmander, and Pikachu Pokemon Center stamped exclusive Elite Trainer Box promos right here. There has only been 900, there's been less than a thousand of those Pokemon 151 Snorlax stamped cards sent through to PSA. 
That tells me a couple different things. First and foremost, I think not a lot of these are being ripped. I think a lot of these are being kept sealed because I think if they were being ripped, people would be selling these stamped promos in to get them graded. The other thing is I also think that there's not a lot of them out there. I do think that this is a good indicator that the overall supply is pretty low because again, this has been out for quite a while. So again, I love seeing numbers like this. The other thing I get really excited about is that gem rate, right? Out of 947 that have been sent through, only 384 have received a PSA 10, right? And two Two of those 384 are mine. They're in my collection. And guess what? You're not going to see them for sale for a long time. So you might as well call that 382. And it's the same thing if you look at the Charmander and if you look at the Pikachu, right? Really low submission numbers. We're talking about almost 1,200 for that Charmander. Again, 913 for that Pikachu. And even lower, even lower gem rates for both of those cards versus the Snorlax up there. And again, I have both of those in a PSA 10 holder. And I'm very, very excited for that because I think in the long run, these are going to go ahead and increase in price as we see these Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs as well. And the other thing that I like, and this is the final slide right here, I promise I'll start, ram I'll stop rambling a about this is they seem to be a little bit unpopular right now. Think about all of the greatest investments. Like great investments don't start off as great investments, right? <laughs> or else everybody would have had them and they rarely turn out to be great investments. Like most of the best investments start off as unpopular or unutilized or underloved products. And then in the future, people think, oh, these are really great. Well, because nobody bought them, because nobody kept them sealed, because nobody cared about them that much, that's why they're worth so much money. So when I have a product like this, which in my humble opinion, opinion, at least for my goals, it checks a bunch of the fundamental boxes that I like. Plus, it's a little bit unpopular right now. That checks all of the boxes for me. Think about the Elite Trainer boxes, even from the XY era, and that's a bad comparison because it was a totally different era, totally different collection space, but think about them back then. They weren't popular, right? Everybody talks about how they were 50% off at Walmart and Target and like you could buy them anywhere well below MSRP. They just weren't popular, right? But now, oh my gosh, they're going for 1,000, 2,000. Some of them were like $3,000 for an Elite Trainer box. I have no illusions that I don't think that these Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs are gonna be 1,000, 2,000, $3,000 boxes. But I do think that they will follow the same suit and I think that they're gonna be worth a lot of money in the future. Now, the other thing that here is, I'm just telling you, I feel the potential upside Side really outweighs the potential downside. So you know that I am a bit of a cautious investor when it comes to this. I always say, buy what will go up, not what has gone up. I always say things like protect the downside. I always say things like make sure you understand your support lines. And when it comes to these products right here, MSRP is what it is. I feel like I am buying at the absolute bottom every time I buy these at MSRP. I think that you don't have any opportunity to buy these at a lower price point, period, end of discussion. So I feel like my entry point is on point. Like I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. And then I do feel like there's some really, really strong opportunity for some long-term upside. So for all of those reasons, I absolutely love these as a long-term investment. Now, I will say this, they're a pain in the butt to store. They're a pain in the butt to ship. Liquidity is going to be questionable in the future, but hey, I've got a long-term time horizon and they check enough of the boxes that that's why I'm so excited about these. So if you made it to the end of this video and you enjoyed this type of content, hit that subscribe button. If you have questions or comments, drop them down below. And as always, if you like what you see, give us a big old thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an epic one and I'll be talking to you soon. See you later, everybody. Bye.